It is time to expand minds through movies, TV, sports, and flicks. It is time to boldly go where no podcast has gone before. It is time for the Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain, the Captain Talk, Talk Flicks. 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 Welcome to the Captain Talks Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, aka Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you can see in the tuber screen. I like to get on here and give my unique perspective, because after 47 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed new perspective about this movies, TV, sports, and flicks, and I'd like to get on and tell you about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, it looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to Malta. Got some plays over Malta this past week. Gracias, gratitude, todo And Malta, you have a lot of interesting looking museums over there. I was on the web kind of just looking around there and saying, man, there's a lot of cool looking museums. So one of these days, I'm going to have to fly over to Malta and check out these museums in person. I have to do that. One of these days, I'm definitely going to do that. So one of these days, listen, appreciate God's his gratitude. It's just FYI. Back day when school to be a radio DJ, but never got a job. I think I never got a job because I just didn't have the vision. If I would have had the vision, maybe I would have saw myself becoming a radio DJ. But I didn't. It allowed me to become the greatest podcaster. In the Matrix. Something to debate might be true, might not be true. But I said it on the internet, so it's gotta be true, right? Because everything on the internet is facts, not facts, true, false propaganda, fake news, the Matrix, G.I. Joe, Transformers, Star Wars, Star Trek. I don't know. I didn't make the internet. Ask the people that made the internet. So when you're online, just be aware, just watch out. Anyways, it could ramble all day, but it won't. Let's get right into the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, where we lay our head, where we spend our time when we're resting is a very important place. It's a very important place where we stay at, wherever we stay, where we sleep, where we lay, where we rest, where we play at. We're not out in the world, you know, it's a very important place. So if you're looking for something new to put up in your casa, your dwelling, wherever you stay at, we got a poster for you over at the Existing Fictions as a store called Connect the Dots. Because in life, connecting the dots will get you far. At least I believe that's true. So if you want a new poster for your dwelling, for your castle, for your house, for whatever, your apartment, whatever, I'll put a link below to the Connected Dots poster. Check it out. Now, let's get on the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back again. And I'm feeling good. You say, Captain, why are you feeling good? Because I just got done eating Filipino adobo. Oh my gosh, it was so magnificent. So I got the recipe online and I made it and I did a good job because it tastes absolutely wonderful. This Filipino adobo is magnificent. I can't get over how good it tastes. Now the Filipino adobo I made was with uh, pork. I chose pork. I don't eat a lot of pork, but occasionally I have some pork. I know some people don't like pork, but there's other options. There's chicken, there's beef. There's a few different ways to make it. The recipe I found had pork. And man, it was so good. That adobo served with some rice. Woo! I want to go to the Philippines right now. I'm telling you, bro. If you're listening to this and you're from the Philippines, I want to come to your land, bro. Because seriously, this food was magnificent. Actually, a buddy of mine, she's from there. She's from Genson, right? She's telling me all about how awesome the Philippines is. I hear it all the time. We always have a conversation. She's telling me it all the time. Your land, the Philippines, just sounds absolutely magnificent while the filipino adobo that i made was fantastic i guarantee it's not as good if i went down to the philippines and had one locally at some place down in the philippines maybe in manila maybe in jensen i don't know but if i had it over there oh i bet you this adobo would be so good i want to go over there just for the adobo bro like seriously i'm gonna get on a plane right now i'm going there right now <laughs> but anyways Shout out to you, Philippines, for having just magnificent food, bro. I'm about to make me some more Filipino dishes. So anyways, I'm feeling good. Had some adobo. So delicious. 
And now it's time to talk movies, TV, sports, and flicks. But before I get into that, first of all, there will be spoilers. And second of all, I do own some shares in the parent company of what I'll be talking about today. And you might ask, what are you talking about today? I'm going to be talking about true lies. So yeah, back to true lies, bro. I'm telling lies that are true. And let me just say this. Second episode did not disappoint. It was a very fun, feel-good episode. So yeah, I'm loving the show. But what I want to do is I want to get into one aspect of the show this week. One thing I noticed that I thought was was interesting, I gave some thoughts, like, yeah, that's interesting. So, in the show, Harold, Harry, Tasker, I know his name now, finally gets to work with his wife. Because it was determined in the first episode that Helen Tasker was going to become part of Omega, I think it's Omega Sector, what they call. She was going to join her husband at work. They're like a husband and wife spy team, right? That's what's going on. Now, this was their first mission together. And what I thought about when seeing this is like, damn, what is it like to work with your wife, significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, novia, novia? You know, what is that like? I don't know. I've never worked with a girlfriend before. Okay, I've had a lot of girlfriends, but I never worked with them. I'm not married, never had a wife, right? So I don't know what that's like. But also, not only what is it like to work with your girlfriend or boyfriend or novia, novia, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, whatever label you want to call it, what is it like to work with them? But wait, wait, not just work with them. Work with them in the spy game. So it's one thing to work with your, your significant other, spouse, wife, whatever, in just a regular job, right? So it's just working in a regular job. Imagine working a regular job, right? But then you're working in the spy game with them, right? Like, what is that like? Now, maybe some of you guys out there work with your husband, Work with your wife, work with your girlfriend, work with your boyfriend. Maybe you know what that's like. I don't even know. I imagine at moments in time, it could be a little stressful, uncomfortable, uh, weird, strange. And in this episode, we kind of do see that. Because guess what? Guess what happened? They're out doing spy stuff together, the husband and the wife. And you know what happens? They run into their exes. What are the chances of being on a spy mission? And you run into your exes. Both. The husband ran into his ex. And the wife ran into her ex. And the husband met her ex. And the wife met his ex. Yeah. Very interesting dynamic. Now in the captain's life. Of having girlfriends over the years. There's only been a few moments in time. When my current girlfriend met my ex-girlfriend. And I'll be completely honest with you. Back in the day when I experienced that. It was kind of awkward. Now if I experience it now in 2023. It may not be that way. I don't know. I don't have a woman right now. But it might be different. But chances are it would probably still would be awkward. Right? I don't know. Maybe it gets less awkward the older you get. Or maybe I'm just just not a well-developed human being. (laughs) I don't know. But in the show True Lies, um, they were a little uncomfortable. It was a little awkward. So even with these grown adults, they have kids, they're married. When they saw the exes, met the exes, it was a little uncomfortable. And then, and then with the, uh, the the wife's experience, Helen Tasker, she actually fought <laughs> her husband's ex for a moment in time. Right? She fought them. Like, I've seen that happen in real life a few times. A few times I've seen some jealous women fight each other. It's happened a couple times in real life when I was a younger person. Not really good look. I don't even know if that kind of thing still happens. I'm assuming it does. I see on Instagram, like, it looks like it does happen. But I'm not out in the world like I used to be. I used to be out in the world a lot. Let's go to the club, do this, this, and that. I don't do that. I'm an old man, bro. I'm like 47 years old. All I do is podcast. I don't go out. But um, I imagine that kind of thing still happens with the young whippersnappers. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, anyways, that's shown in, the, in, the, in this show. It should be interesting as we, as we go deeper into these characters. What that dynamic is going to be like of the husband and wife working together. Maybe they get sick of each other. I don't know. So if you have a wife or a girlfriend or a husband or boyfriend and you work together, I imagine there's something like this. Get up in the morning in the bed right next to you. There's your wife. There's your husband. Get up. Go to work. Drive your car to work together right next to you. Go to work. Same space. See each other all the time. Have lunch together. Yeah. Go on breaks together. Yeah. Drive home together. Yeah. Go home, eat dinner together, go to sleep, same bed. It'd be like seeing the same person all day, every day, constantly. Now, 
It just seems like that's a bit much to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird like that. Maybe that's why I'm still single. I've been saying on these podcasts quite a bit that I'm single. You've probably heard me talk about it quite a bit. You know, I'm a 47-year-old dude. I am not married. I have no kids. I don't even have a girlfriend right now. And maybe part of it is because of that. It might be. Probably, Captain, you need to change your ways, bro. Because this is not how you can move in 2023. You got to change your perspective. Maybe that's true. I don't know, though. But are you married? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a wife? And do you work with them? And do you live with them? And do you see them all the time? And does that get old? I would think it would, but I don't know. I'm no relationship expert. I'm not a dating guru. I'm not a dating coach. I'm not a psychologist, a sociologist, a loveologist. I'm not none of those things. I don't even know. I have no. I ain't have a wife or a girlfriend. I ain't been on a date in a very long time, so I'm the absolute worst person to talk about this. But I'm just saying, this is what was in the show. So I don't know. If you're married, you have a girlfriend, have a boyfriend, and you see them all the time, I hope it's working out really well for you. I hope so. And maybe someday the captain will experience that. Someday in the future. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, ladies out there, if you look for a man, I'm single and I podcast. <laughs> so, anyways, that's all I want to talk about this week. Thanks for listening. I appreciate it. God says gratitude. And until next time, we'll see. Do not let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. John Wooden. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.